What's happening YouTube? Simulation Junkie back with a pickup video. And uh, we have a little mail bag right here. Uh, we have some flea market finds, some goodwill finds. Uh, but to be quite honest with you, the uh, majority of this stuff right here is the end of the flea market and uh, just trying to clear off my workbench. Uh, so without further ado, uh, let's get this going. Uh, let's get started first on the mail haul. Uh, I got a nice Nice package in the mail um, a little while ago from JB25. I've done a lot of trades with him in the past. Uh, he's a great YouTuber, big time collector. Check out his link down below. Uh, one of the pieces that really excited me was this one right here by Hot Wheels Racing 2004 series. Uh, this is the number 43 test track series. now. If you're new to my channel or not familiar, I try to collect all Richard Petty Motorsports 43 cars. Um, I probably have over 150 by now, all variants, all different kinds, and they are all cracked. So as soon as this video is over, I'm going to crack this baby out of this seal and put it up on display. Uh, also in that mail haul was this STP hauler. This one right here is, is, I don't like using the word rare, uh, rare anymore, but this one right here is a hard one to find. Uh, this is armor all there, if you can't see, it's pretty cool. Uh, this one right here is very difficult. It's missing one of the surfboards off the back. And it's not uncommon to find these without the surfboards because they do come off and you lose them forever. But this one's a really nice shape, full metal body. And it says 1967, however, it's probably from 2004. Uh, he also sent this Dale Earnhardt tribute car that's also a magnet. I got a bunch of these on my beer fridge in the garage. And JB, I'm sorry, but I don't know if you sent this to me or not. You might have. Kind of got lost on my desk over here. But it's a. Uh, Dale Earnhardt test track car. All right, so great pickups right there. Check them out, give them a little love. Always looking out for me for the 43 cars. I appreciate it, thank you. All right, all these die casts right here, I can't remember the exact story of how they came about in my possession. Although I can tell you that they were all probably picked up at the flea market this summer and early fall. Um, we'll start down here. Majority of the time, if you're new to my channel, I try not to pay more than 50 cents per car. Um, and sometimes, you know, we'll, you'll get three for a dollar, four for a dollar, but generally anywhere from 50 cents to a quarter a car. Uh, right here we have a Hot Wheels Daytona, Mopar, Superbird, awesome looking car still. In 2020, this car is still pretty epic. Uh, we got the number four Kodak. This was a pretty standard car in the early days of NASCAR when I started watching. Uh, awesome paint scheme. I guess there used to be something called film. You used to take pictures with a camera. Then you'd have to take the film out of the camera and get it developed. And Kodak was a film provider as well as developer. Number four, number 17, a leave car. Pretty standardized die cast. I'm sure it came as a promo if you bought some to leave at some point. I've had this car in my collection many, many times. And the 29 Harvick car. GM Goodwrench. Oh, no, this is definitely not his rookie year. Nonetheless, nice paint scheme. Silver, black. 29. 33 Alka Seltzer again, probably another another promo that you could have got at your local CVS. Alright, this one I thought was pretty interesting. Uh, I didn't realize it was Mark Martin number 60 Win Dixie. Uh, but what I thought it was pretty cool. I don't know if this camera is gonna do any justice, but it's scratched up and it says Underbird. <laughs> Pretty cool, just like I believe it was Davey Allison that used to have the Underbird. Um, so here we go to 60 Winn Dixie car, 
really beat up. I believe that's Mark Martin. If it's not, I'm sure you guys will let me know. I'm pretty sure it is. Sorry about that, Blair. All right, the number 71 of Bobby Isaac. Guys, great story about him, the number 71. First of all, it's a great looking paint scheme. Simple, uh, very old school, the black tires, black wheels. A little bit of white trim on there. Uh, great story about him. Well, if I can find the video, I'll link it down below. Nice little bio piece I watched on him not too long ago. And the number 99 of Jeff Burton. Guys, I'm not a big Jeff Burton fan, never was. I always thought he was a little bit overrated, but nonetheless, not a big fan of his son either. Uh, not yet, at least. Uh, but his son did get a win this year before the season was postponed. And he is a co-owner with uh, Parker Kligerman and his eSport team. So, yeah, real rubber tires. Next side. And a newer version. I guess this is the Hot Wheels version. It's a little bit different body style. Eh, it's an okay paint scheme. And then we got a couple extra 43s. Now I already have these in my collection. Um, I can't remember how I picked these up. I probably picked them up in a lot. Tried to make four. And if it was in better condition than the one that I have, then this would actually go into my collection. But if they're out here still, they're probably not better upgrades for me. And I believe these all came in cereal boxes probably in 2001, 2002. Alright, so here's a pretty unique piece. Uh, when I was looking through the dump bin, I definitely remember this one. This is uh, Mr. The King from the Movie Cars. Awesome movie, by the way. And at first when I was looking at it, I thought it was just melted up, but it's meant to look this way after the King crashed at Daytona and did all those barrel rolls down the front stretch. Great job to detail Disney on this one and Pixar. Really nice job. This one is definitely going into my collection. Awesome job. All right, we got a little bit of good, goodwill love here. Uh, and this one I'm going to ship out to my boy JB Racing 25 as a little thank you. So uh, this is a special edition 20th anniversary of Hendrick Motorsports. And I don't know if you can see in there with the glare, but it says one of 5,952. So this one is probably worth about $200. This is really expensive car right here. I'm just joking there, guys. It's, it's not. It was only $299 at Goodwill. Uh, this is from 2004, and the paint scheme is really pretty, pretty detailed and pretty nice in there. Never touched. Awesome piece. Uh, these two cars, I know for sure I picked up at my local flea market, and this actually has some writing on this box. It says, Daryl Waltrip, one of 16,128. It actually looks like a street stock, number 11 Daryl Waltrip, the Pepsi logo. I've never seen this series before. If anybody knows anything about this series, leave a little comment down below. And from the same vendor, I picked up this Ravel Racing Tribute Throwback Daryl Waltrip. I guess was, this was in his final year of racing. He did some throwback paint schemes. And this is his 25th silver anniversary, and he did a throwback with his number 17. Uh, but this is supposed to be throwing back to his Mountain Dew days, I'm guessing. And it's for the Parts America sponsor. So even back then, they were doing the throwback paint schemes. Alright, so it's Western Auto Parts America, rubber tires, detailed chassis, and full detail interior. Somewhat. Alright guys, I'd like to thank you all for coming in here and watching this. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And more importantly, uh, no matter where you are right now, uh, please take care of yourselves, stay safe, and uh, you know it, we're going to get through this, and we will get back out to the flea markets, we will get back out to the uh, garage sales, and we will start building this collection back up. Uh, so stay safe again, everybody. Take care.